Now go ahead and pivot. Ooh. Okay, now watch this. If I let you hinge, keep your arms out here, that's a full hinge right there. Okay, now slowly come down. Okay, let's do it again. Take it up here. But now what I'm going to have you do, okay, I'm going to hold, hold you back. Now you go ahead and start down and let your arms come down. There you go. And let this release the impact. Okay, start over again. There you go, good hinge, that's a good hinge. Okay, now let those arms come down. Hands up in front of you like this. Okay, let me see the club a minute. And you put your hands, you split your hands apart like this. And now make me a good backswing like we just did. Okay, now start down. If I held your shoulders, how would you start down? See how you're kind of stuck? Yes. Okay, now you do that for me. You put your hand on my shoulder right here. You don't feel anything, do you? Okay, now one more time. Watch this. See how fast I can go? So I can go very, very fast without opening my shoulders like this. So like you have a, you're, you're able to play as good as you play because your swing, and Peter's got that shaft coming down behind you from the inside, right? But because your legs get so far out in front of you like this, you have to stop your hands and let this catch up. And that's where your left shots come from because the club face, when it catches up, it closes, doesn't it? See how it's closing? And so, and then, so, but if I can come down this way, and now as I release the club, my hips keep moving, now you can keep that club head from passing, and you're going to really have a great golf swing. With the set swing you have right now, it's really relying a lot on tempo, or not tempo, but timing. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Okay, now just let those arms come in. Less tension, less tension. There you go. Let them come all the way down. All the way down. There you go. Do it again. Take it up. Let the arms come down. Good. Then you would rotate. Okay, so it feels like nothing's moving but your arms. But there's no way that you could ever do that and not move. Okay, as much as you move already, if you just felt like your back stays to the target and you let your arms come down like this, your body's going to move plenty. Okay? So, <clears throat> this drill right here by the wall makes you have a shorter back swing. It makes you turn all the way and have your arms out in front of you, which is really good because your arms get behind you like your club is passed parallel with a pitching leg. So with the driver, it's going to get even longer. And then, it's, then with the body way out in front of you, it's really hard to coordinate. Makes sense? So this feels extreme, but that's what you got to do to make a change. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Okay. So let's see you make a practice backswing again. There you go, nice. Now from there, leave this here, bring the arms down. There you go, right there. Now you could release the club and rotate your body. Okay? So let's go do it up here. There you go, right there. Okay, now I want you to kind of pump your arms down. One, just kind of pump your arms down two, and the third one, go ahead and swing right on through, okay? Okay, let's see you do that. Right there, pump it down, one. Two and go. Nice. Nice. That was really good. I'm going to get the camera so we can look at that. Okay, let's do some more. We'll get some balls and some tees and let's, let's hit ball doing that. That's a good grip. Put your arms out wide. This is called wide. There you go. Okay, now from there, pump it down. One, two, Oh, there we go. That's a little different shape too, wasn't it? Yes. That was good. When you pump it down like that, just pump it kind of further down and just kind of do it smoothly, okay? Don't get going too fast. Okay, here we go. Turning. That's it. There you go. Arms are nice and wide. Good. Now pump it. One, two, and go. Good. The thing about this pump thing that it was doing, okay? What I would like you to do is make sure that when you pump it, your hands are going at the ball. Don't let them come in here like this too close to you. Okay? So here we go. Turning and hinging. That club's over there. Great. 
Now, when you pump it down, this is going to pump down at the ball. Then you go back up at the ball. Then the third one, you hit it, okay? Let's start over again. Okay, here we go. There you go. Now pump it. One, two, out of way.